That was sudden. Welcome back to games that scare me. Welcome to a game called Ding Dong Dead. That is, in fact, the name of the game. This one is fresh from the Puppet Combo Patreon, so, uh... <laughs> You know we're going to have fun with this one, and uh, I say we just dive right in. Let's do it. This is a black-eyed priest game. I think uh, it's the same guy who made, oh, what was it called? Bloodwash. Wait, are these stats? Why do I have a stat for sexiness? And why is it zero? It's just a closet. Very astute observation. Start babysitting. Oh, it's one of these games. Oh, it's oh, you! Ah, welcome. We've only just started. We've only just started. Hello. Got voice acting? Thank you for watching our sweet angel on short notice. No problem. Yes, I have a very important ceremony to attend tonight that we simply could not miss. I see. Not lest I am overlooked for a future promotion. It's a ceremony. What exactly is it that you do? Yes, we simply could not have that. Uh-huh. Money is on the counter. Please order some pizza for Rex and yourself. Rex. Okay. Rex can stay up as late as he wants. We're using reverse psychology to make him want rules by not giving him any. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my parents had done that with me when I was a kid. That definitely would have worked. Plus... We're tired of being parents. Remember to lock the door behind us. You can never be too careful these days. These two are in a cult. Yes, that's very true, dear. Oh, also, try not to have too many lights on at the same time. Uh, something's been going on with the fuse box. Right. If you forget on the power trips, just reset the fuse box and you'll be fine. Where is that? You did remember to lock all the windows, dear. Uh, yeah, probably. That's going to be the first thing I check. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yep. If it's your first time babysitting, we left a note of instructions on the counter. Now come on, sweet cheeks. We mustn't be late. Okay. I would say call us if you have any trouble, but I know Rex will be an angel. Ta! -ha! These two are in a cult. They're probably the killers. I give my friends a call too, since the parents obviously don't care. Uh, okay, so we want to lock this door. There we go. Lock the door. Grandfather clock. Wonder whose grandfather it is, though. Well, that is just going to be one of life's great mysteries. Where's the light switch? Ah, here we are. Um, is, um... That's just a newspaper. I want to go and try and find the counter because you said something about instructions. I'm going to try and keep lights off in rooms that I'm not using. I'll probably wait light switch. Uh, phone book. Let's see here. Maybe that brat will be easier to watch if I order some pizza. Papa Joel's. They've got the best pizza in town. I've got their number now. Oh, I gained moxie points for that. Hell yeah. Alright. Where's the instructions? Is this the instructions? Here we go. Okay. Here's a rundown of your five skills. Muscle. This is for combat only. It directly influences how much damage you deal with weapons such as knives. Very important on a babysitting job, obviously. Brains. Believe it or not, this is how smart you are. Cheers, Jeff. Mostly brains determines your puzzle solving skills. Some puzzles you will not even be able to attempt if you don't have enough brains. Moxie. Mostly used when talking to people. Not only does Moxie unlock new invisible dialogue choices with NPCs, it also will allow you to get them to do what you want. Nobody listens to a moxie-less fool. Agility. This determines how fast you move. You think you move too slow? Get some agility ASAP. This could be important. If you have anything you want to run away from. Music to my ears. And sexiness. What's this all about? A true mystery stat. Is it a secret to unlocking true power? Is it completely useless? Who knows? Pick up knife. Oh. Oh. Can be used as a weapon or a tool. Oh, I can just... Oh, I've got a lighter. Oh, that's how I have to... Okay, so I have another... Oh, wait. No, hang on. How do I get rid of this? Okay, so uh, right-click, right-click. Uh, fair enough. Uh, well, where is... Where's the kid? <laughs> the hell? 
Okay, so we have another light source. Stuck. Great. Cool. So I'm not at least... I'm not totally in the dark. Shall I order some pizza or shall I go and try and find the kid first? Whereabouts is the kid? Okay. It's like a little study. That looks like it could be possibly a floppy disk. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I reckon I know what I use this for. Can used to be used to save your game at a computer. Hell yeah. That is a good find. I like the doors just closed behind me. Oh, nice. What is this? Ah, you little shit. I knew you were in there. Hi, Rex. <laughs> I got you good. You screamed like a girl, you bitch. The hell did you just say? Take it, you're Rex. I'm your babysitter. I ain't no baby. No, you're a pumpkin. You want any pizza? No, I bet you'll get your bitch germs on it. Bro! Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Oh, you're a little... Nah. <laughs> Threatened physically. Um, I mean, we got a knife. Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's very tempting. Yeah, let's do that. I'll probably backhand the shit out of you. A good answer. I respect that. You're pretty cool. That what? Uh, this kid's weird. This kid is weird. Lex's respect increased. Well, because I threatened to hit him. Riddle me that one, Batman. I'm just gonna go order some pizza. Wait, one last room that I haven't checked yet. Uh, this is. Oh, this is probably the parents' bedroom. Can I hide in here? Oh yeah, I can hide in here. Okay, that's gonna be good to know. Let's go order some pizza. I think we've, uh, someone's at the door. Well, I ain't ordered fuck all, so it's another floppy disk. Uh, go on then. They, they wouldn't kill us this early. They wouldn't kill us this early. Okay, nah, we're locking that. Nah, close it, close it. Close the door, bro. Lock it. We are ordering pizza. Nope. Pizza guy. Ring. Yeah, this is Papa Joe's, where we make pies that blow your mind. This is Tony Pepperoni. What do you want? Tony Pepperoni? Hell yeah. Can I get a large pizza with uh, pepperoni? Interesting choice. You know... They say what kind of toppings you put on a pizza tells you a lot about the person. Oh, yeah? You know what I'm saying? No, but go on. Anyways, we'll get this pie rolling over here. It'll be about 30 minutes, capiche? Need my address? Nah, nah. You're already in our files. See you soon. Real soon. Okay, that's a bit fucking sketch. Who the hell... Who says that? Wait. Achtung! Achtung! Agent's news to our suburban residents. What the fu... It seems there has been a pandemonium at the state asylum tonight. Oh, great. There's always a fucking asylum, isn't there? Reports say that a riot broke out, and a handful of inmates... <clears throat> I mean, patients... <laughs> ...have escaped. They're not 100% clear right now, but according to Sheriff officials, not every single patient has been accounted for. <sighs> Who am I? You sexy beast don't need me to remind you that tonight is the 10 year anniversary of the brutal Ding Dong Ditch Vipper murders. Do what? Well, your favorite handsome DJ will remind you that the Ding Dong Ditch Vipper himself was a young boy at the time who was found guilty of brutally bludgeoning five people to death over the course of a one night in a sleepy neighborhood of the boulevard is, or was, being kept at the hospital. Wouldn't it be a heck of a story if he 
was actually one of the inmates who escaped. No. On the night of his anniversary. There's no way. Oh, good in here. Tis the spooky season, but I would hate to be anywhere near his old stomping grounds. I shivered in fear at the boat. DJ Hans Dankenstein, out! DJ Hans dance and stop. Okay, so that happened. Okay, we got like a little gym out here. Fair enough. Breaker box. Okay, so that's for the fuse. Fair enough. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I kind of wanna. Can I not just like? Can't I just get the knife out and just? Oh my god. I would rather just carry the knife around with me. To be like completely honest with you, I feel like I can hear footsteps. So, how am I going to go about getting the rest of these stats up? Okay. Are you in here? Rex? Yeah, you're in here. What's up, man? Uh, go hide. Moxie check. You got any hobbies? I like hiding in wardrobes. It's pretty clever. Right. No one ever thinks to check in them if they're looking for you. Uh-huh. I also like to make nice traps, like in that one movie where the girl puts gunpowder in a light bulb yeah. and puts it in a lamp, and then when the guy turns it on, it blows up! Hang on, hang on, the kid could be on something here. Oh, this stuff only works in movies. It works! Ugly tramp. Cheers, appreciate it. <laughs> Call Hillary. Call Hip G. Who the fuck is Hip G? Yeah, let's call him. He sounds good. Call him up. What's up, Hip G? What's up? You talking to Hip G, fool? Yeah. What's up, G? My spirit. Now that my best friend has called his top dog, Hip G. What you doing tonight, Matt Player? Just babysitting. Gotta make that cash. That's how it is. Know this. Hip G is proud of his little homie. Aww. Are they treating you right over there? Well, they better be, or Hip G will be driving by windows down in a minute if you steal me. I mean, feel free to come and join me. You got snacks? They gave you some snacks and some soda pops? Yeah, we've got pizza. It's good family, I think. It's out off the boulevard. Off the B? Homie, you're in that sweet steak. I'll be over in 15. Oh, he's coming? Oh, he's actually going to come over. All right, bet. Uh, is there anything going on outside? Hello. Nah, uh, nothing going on out here. Doesn't let me wander off either. Okay. Well, if that's the case. Hey, you cool cats! Is there ever update from your cool daddy, DJ Hans Dansenstein? Uh-huh. You freaks are gonna have to stay inside tonight. Seems like our weather nerds think a storm is set to roll in soon. Right. Should be an ugly one, they say. So don't be surprised if you experience power outages. Oh, Get fuck off. Get those candles and flashlights ready, folks. Ooh, oh, batten no. down your hatches. Keep your clothes dry and your crutches wet as we strap in for a cozy evening. Dunchenstein. Oh, I'm getting more and more nervous by the second. I just realized there's candles about, which I could light up. Uh... Let's do that. Let's go and light some candles. Help for me to feel a little bit better. Fish tank. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Yeah, this is the one I couldn't get inside. Looks like there's something stuck in the keyhole. Oh, I don't know what the hell's supposed to be stuck in the keyhole. I'm going to kill that thing. Honey, we have to get rid of that damn cat. Not only is it killing all... Not only is it killing my allergies, but I saw it eat a key. What kind of cat does that? I don't even want to think about getting that key back. Oh. Oh, so you're saying if I can find like a litter tray or something, then maybe there's going to be a key lurking around? Possibly. Oh, God. Let's light the candles, light the candles, light the candles, light the candles. Uh, do I want to save the game right now? Is it a bit early for that, or... I don't really know. Definitely want to light some... What the fuck was that? Oh, no. 
Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, God. Okay, the fattest chill just went down my spine. You have absolutely no idea. I just got the biggest chill! No one's in the house. No one's in the house. You're lying. You're faking me out. Nobody's in the house. Right? Fucking... Where's Rex? Let me go find Rex. I'm gonna go find Rex. In fact, or maybe, maybe, uh, maybe now... Maybe now would be a good time to save the game. Use a disc to save. Yeah, save the game. Whoo! Is that it? I just get to use it one time? Battery. Uh, used to give to things that don't... Yeah, I, 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 I could have guessed that. Filing cabinet full of hot dog recipes. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Rex, did you hear that noise? Wouldn't want to be... Wouldn't want to be... Yeah. I'm lighting your candle, bud. Hope you don't mind. Just so we get a bit of light on the subjects. Okay. It's fine. It's just going to be... It's just going to be the pizza. That's either going to be the pizza or it's going to be uh, my, my, my boy. Whatever his name is. Hello? It's the pizza. Let's get it. Should probably put this on the table so Rex can help himself. Wouldn't mind a slice myself. You're pretty sure it has pizza in it. I feel like this be one of them games where we probably want to check that. Bro, that thunder is loud. Holy hell. Place the pizza open. Well, hey. Oh, we gained muscle points for that. Let's go. Got some protein ass pizza. Oh, it's my guy. Hey. Hip G. What's up? What's up, man? What the hell are you doing just walking around in here? Why were you in the garage? I couldn't find the a garage. bathroom. The garage? Would he have jump scared me if I went in there? How do you even get inside? The front door was open, man. The hell it was. No, it wasn't. Thought you'd be happy to see me. I'm, Looks like there's nothing to do around this place. I'm happy to see you, but that front door was not open. Hey, homie, what's troubling your mind? Lay it on, Dr. Hip G. <sighs> Where do I start? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about tonight. My mind feels fuzzy. See, even more reason for me to stay. I'll be your mental clarity. I mean, I'm down with if that. If anyone try to mess with you tonight, I'll bust out my nine and... Uh-oh. You forgot it. I guess I left my chrome in my other pants. Fuck! It happens from time to time. More times than not, though. Okay, well... <laughs> well, man, I'll still be here for you. At least I can offer a good conversation. Just ask Hip G anything, and I might have something useful to Dude, say. my legs are shaking. What is this? Calm down on the thunder. Um, ask relationship advice. Go hide? No, no, no. We don't need to hide just yet. I wonder... I can ask him to go hide. I can tell... Put shit in the microwave. Okay. I can tell him to go hide. I can tell Rex to go hide. Protein bar. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Hell yeah. Muscle points. I wonder if there's like a thing where... Like, I could get people killed by not telling them to go hide when I probably should. Uh, should we go tell Rex that the pizza's here? Bro, my fingers are sweating. I'm not even gonna lie to you. My fingers are sweating. What the fuck? The fucking power's gone out already. Hip G. Hey. G? Big man. You're coming with. Can I tell him to go hide? For sure. Where's he gonna hide? He's hiding in the cabinet. That's, uh, right, okay. I'm impressed you even fit in there. Break a box. Flipping it isn't gonna work. Let me see if I can fix this. Brain check. I'm not smart enough to fix the fucking power! No! What the sh- You've gotta be kidding me. Use the barbell. Get some muscle points in there. Hell yeah. Muscle points. Can I do that again? Can I just like keep using this thing? I'll sit in here and hit a whole session. I don't mind. Literally, don't mind me. I'm so glad that I um, lit the candles. Um, I don't know what to... I'm literally not smart enough 
to fix the fuse. Let me go find Rex. Rex. <laughs> I'm never playing one of these games in the dark again. Do you know what? I ain't even gonna tell you to go hide after that. I ain't even tell you to go hide after that. You can go fuck yourself. Cassette tape. They're playing music. Uh, that could be a distraction, maybe? That's all there was there. Um, how can I gain brain points? Remote. For the TV. These all seem like... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. We're closing those. These all seem like things that could possibly be distractions. I need to find a way to... We read some books. Let's read some books. They're all about hot... Why are you going to get smart reading about hot dogs? Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. How the hell am I going to get smarter? School couldn't even pull that off. Sex ed book. Oh, Ooh, we gained sexiness points. We gained riz. How about that? What else we got? Clothes. Must be laundry day. Uh-huh. Journal. Oh, goodness me. Are we going to read all this? Ever since being married and moving into this house. A house Kenneth and Rex have lived in for a decade. Even after the accident. Ever since then, I feel as though Kenneth has begun to change a bit. Or maybe not change. But perhaps getting to know him better. To be fair, we haven't known each other very long in the grand scheme of things. He's still the sweet, caring man that I marry. But now I see a darkness in his eyes. Not a hateful, evil darkness, I feel. More of a sad, broken-hearted darkness. A darkness created by the shadows of a black cloud hanging over him. I'm not surprised when I think about it. I could not imagine having to go through what he and Rex had to go through a few years ago. He truly is a strong man to keep pushing on for his partner and child. I hope to help banish the dark cloud through our time together as he banished mine. So Rex is, uh, or hairpin, I could use that to, yeah, I could use that to unlock a door. So Rex's mum died, I presume. Gun case, oh shit, oh. Oh, we're gonna have to find a code to that. No, I don't know what it is. Okay, so the wife isn't actually Rex's mum. That's, um, that is... You gotta be kidding me. Who the fuck is at the door right now? I'm opening it. Fuck it! Hello. My name is Dr. Pleasant. Hi. I'm sure you have heard about the. at the state asylum tonight. Yep, might have done. I have come to warn you and the residents of this neighborhood that the individual known as. The Ding Dong Ditch Ripper. Yep. Has indeed escaped captivity and could very well be heading this way now if he isn't already here. Oh boy. Please, do not answer the door tonight, no matter what. Right. You got lucky this time. Hmm. Ooh. Who are you? I am Dr. Pleasant. I work at the State Asylum, and was the DDDR's primary shrink. Uh -huh. I have worked on him for a decade, ever since he was admitted as a child. So After a couple of years with no progress, I realized something about him. That is? He is not human. No? What is he then? Evil. Absolute, pure, unfiltered, premium cut. Evil. Premium cut evil go. If evil was a man, Better set up my chair for this one. Him. If evil was a sock, he'd be on your feet. Okay. If evil was a piece of toilet paper, you damn sure he's been between your cheeks and smelling like stank. That was timed so perfectly with the thunder. <laughs> if evil was your father. Be your I, I get the point. I get the point. Um, 
What will you do if you find him? I will prescribe him the only true cure for absolute evil. Kill him? A dose of 44 caliber right between the peepers. You want to give me that? Who am I? Uh, yeah, go on. I'm curious. No, oh, who are any of us? Oh. Who is the Ding Dong Ripper? He is absolute evil. Yeah, you've, you, you've, you've, you've... Will he kill? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, well, who was he before he was killed? Oh, uh, that would violate HIPAA. Okay. That is one beast I do not wish to trifle with. Okay, you can leave now. As you wish, then I bid you farewell. And may the Lord watch over you this night. Hoo boy! Nice walk animation. Lock that door! And, uh... I need to find a way to get my brains up. The problem is, I'm thick as pig shit. This book's like they haven't been read at all, except for one. Am I real? Can I read that one? Oh, okay. I don't think so. How do I get my brains up? Game system. I have one of these at home. Slapper Steve. Oh, okay. Pretty old TV. Oh, but the fucking power's out though, isn't it? Shit. Can I read the newspaper? It's an old newspaper, one of the side editorials about the Ding Dong Ditcher Ripper. The young man, whose name is being held from the public due to him being underage, will be found guilty of all murders. He is to be sent to the state insane asylum for an indefinite amount of time. However, there is an outcry from citizens in the city that this is not enough. The Ding Dong deaths that rattled the community was thought to be the working of a large older male due to the brutal nature of the killings that left most victims ripped from sternum to groin and tortured while kept alive in an attic that belongs to the young man's family. What? These murders were from so long ago. Oh, man. Doesn't even know what to remember. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, damn. Okay. Fair enough. Oh. Hello? Is anyone there? Yeah, I think we know who that was. Some prank, yeah. I wish. Okay, my man. Kip G, you can come out now. Who the fuck is up there? Okay, you wanna go? You wanna go? Come on then, you in here? I don't care if the kid dies. You're mean. You're not a very nice kid. Who's in here? You're in the wardrobe! I can hear footsteps. I can literally hear footsteps. What now? Oh, what the? Ooh. Ooh. Did Rex do this? Void. Oh, man. He won't even flip in. I like hiding in wardrobe. Oh, he no won't even tell me. Like to make traps. Like in that one movie where the girl- Could you cook me up a trap? It works! I wish you could cook me up one of these traps you're talking about. That would be nice. I might have to get my guy, Hip G, to come out now. Give me some relationship advice. You're a ladies' man. Got any advice? I want to start sweeping Hillary off her feet. Oh, that's who Hillary is. You want to sweep a fine lady off her feet, huh? Yes. Listen closely as I take you to- <laughs> Classified. And most importantly, remember to treat the ladies with respect and dignity. Chicks love that for some reason. Okay. If you're beyond reproach, the bullshit can't approach, dig? I see. Hey, that's what my Uncle Stan says. And you ain't going to question Stan the man, are you? Stan. Stan is your uncle? 
Okay. Oh, look at you, a certified heartthrob. That's a nice callback to uh, Blood Wash. What was that? Flashlight. Nice. Probably used to make places not so dark. That is generally what flashlights are for. These batteries. Ah, oh, I have batteries. Yes! Oh, I get a brain point for that. Let's go! Woo! Now we're talking. Now can I fix the breaker? Please? Brains check failed? How am I not smart enough for this shit? What the fuck just happened? Why we, Why are we playing this stupid game? Why are we doing it? Why are we playing this? If you'd let me take one of the shirts or something... Ah! I gotta pee. Wait, where did he just go? Why did he just disappear? What the fuck? He just vanished. What the fuck? Why do you just vanish like that? Where the hell did your ass go? Huh? Oh no. Oh, he's killing. He's killing Hip G! Get the knife out. I'm coming for you! Get the knife! Bitch! Yeah! 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 That was a really awkward fight. Wait, 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 wait. Stand there. Just 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 stay there. Don't don't move. Don't don't you move. Hip G, go hide. Yeah, go hide. You just hey, 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 you, you don't. Oh. It's a nasty looking weapon that. Hey, you just stay there. You just you just stay. Oh shit. Rex? Rex? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. No. This is from Rex. Dear Dumbutt, I know he's coming for me, so I lock myself away somewhere. Please don't look for me and get out of here. No one can stop him and he wants. He wants you! Don't look behind pictures. Don't look behind the pictures for the key. You're kidding. Uh, is he still down there? Oh, he's still down there. Bro, my dude's just chilling. He's just behind nothing. Oh, for God's sake. No, not that picture. What about this one? Nope. Nothing. Don't. Just stay there. I managed to play the system and get to hip G in time. Nothing. Right, this one. Look behind. Nothing. Which one is it behind then? I don't know if I've actually broken the game or if he's supposed to just be kind of frozen there. Nothing. Nothing. There's a key behind one of these pictures. Aha. Okay. A key to Rex's hiding spot. Go get him. Oh, I bet this dude moves now. Oh, he's going to be on the hunt. Nope, he still just stood there. Okay, well, that works. <laughs> Fair enough. Listen, you just... I'm sorry I stabbed you. Is this for here? Yep, I knew it. Gotta get out of here. You're coming with me. Get on my back. Wait, can we go in here? Oh, wait, fuck, no. I gotta just go. Okay, well, we're just gonna... We're just going out the front door, yeah? Just going out the front door. Escape. I'm sorry. Oh. What happened? Is that it? He's dead? Hip G? I can't believe we made it. You shouldn't have made it. That's kind of bullshit, You're honestly. a real hero. You know that. You really Man, shouldn't you have made need it. need anything, your best friend Hip G is here for you. Glad to save little homie. I need to call my mama. She'll never believe what happened. Um. 
Hillary. Hey, that was really cool how you had our backs back there. Our backs? You weren't even there! Oh, could she have come along as well? Give me a call after all this dies down. I have a feeling neither of us will want to be alone. Okay, so she's horny. Dr. Pleasant. You are an incredible individual to have survived such evil. I mean... If you need any assistance processing what you went through tonight, please contact me. As for myself, I'm not sure how to feel now that Vic is no more. Vic. He has been my life's obsession for so long now. Wait. I didn't want to do what I had to do. I'm so confused. I'm actually so confused. But I could not allow any more innocent blood to be spilled. Okay. You ready to leave now, or would you like to talk to the others first? Uh, I'll, I'll talk to the others first. Like, what the hell? What? What? Paramedic. He's busy. Policeman? He's busy. Rex. I always knew he was my brother, you know. He was your brother? Mom and Dad would never say anything, but I just felt it. I knew he was coming back for me. Right. I'm just glad you were here. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. So you changed your tune. Since I saved your life. I, I don't... Was that supposed to happen? What happened just then? Let's leave. I'm ready to leave. Another night of restless sleep. Wait, the game continues? No one might rest asleep. I guess I should take those pills Dr. Pleasant gave me. He said they should help. Bottoms up. Wait! All better now, right? Wait, what's... What is happening? Oh, let's, let's just keep playing. Better look out the peephole first. I'm actually so confused. It's gonna be... Who is it? Whoa! Maybe someone had the wrong address. What was... Th oh... Who's in here? Answer me. Who put this in here? Oh my god. I've got chills going down my spine again. Temporary until the nightmares and hallucinations cease. Dr. Pleasant believes you can be completely cured. You can come to terms with the horrifying events that transpired that night. The night the Ding Dong Ditch Ripper came. You feel strange, though. As if icy fingers are clawing at your brain during the long nights. Something is trying to reach you. Something is wanting you. Ending three of th Ah? Oh my god, dude. I'm so many questions. So we got multiple endings. Black Eyed Priest games. Okay. Here's what I want to do. I want to go back to the save that we had before. I only saved the game once. Uh, oh. I hadn't done very much by this point. Uh, let's see. Well, we know kind of what to do. I just, I don't know. I f feel like... That shit where he came in the house and then just kind of stood there. Like, I, was that supposed to happen like that? Was he supposed to just stand there? Did he not? Uh, listen, look, I'm not complaining. I'm really not complaining. I'm just a bit like, did he not want to try and kill me? I don't know, man. I'm just confused. I'm really confused. Hold on. We're going we're gonna to run through this again. There were definitely other things that we could have done. Things like the... Uh, the lockpick. We could have got a gun, but like, if he wasn't even... See, this is why I wonder if I broke the game a little bit, because... Why on earth would I need the gun if he just stands there? That doesn't even make sense. Okay, so Hip G's here. Can I call uh, Hillary as well? See if I can get her up here? Hillary. What are you saying, Hillary? Hello? Sup? Hey, Hillary, it's me. Hey. How's it going? I'm doing all right. I'm about to head out for my yoga class. Not anymore, you ain't. Bet you I could help you stretch. Sexiness check failed. 
Nice try. If that's your way to seduce a girl, you've got a lot of lonely nights ahead of you. Damn! I have to have enough sexiness to be able to get her to come over? Do I get to call her again? Okay. I can call her again. Uh, is this the pizza? Did we even order the pizza? Yeah, we just ordered the pizza. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me lock the door. I would like relationship advice. Give me them sexiness stats. There you go, sex ed book. Thank you very much. Now we're going to go and try and give Hillary another ring. I've got two stat points in sexiness now. There ain't no way you're saying no this time. Hello? Hey, Hillary. It's me. How's it going? Hey, I'm doing all right. I'm about to head out for my yoga class. Betcha I could help you stretch out just as well. I have a house all to myself right now. That's... What? That's exactly what I said the first time! Sexiness check succeeded. You're kind of corny, you know that? I know, and you love it. But yeah, we can yeah. hang out. I'll be right over. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, I ain't got the house to myself. My guy, Hip G, is also here. And he's a legend. Okay, is this the guy? Oh, it's her. That was quick. So, you going to invite me in? Uh, I mean, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, come in. You got it fast. I was in the neighborhood. Yeah, sure you were. Where's she gonna hang out? Right here? So, this is what I missed yoga for? Sure is. Ask for sex. Go. Go ahead. Go on. You seem tense. Why don't you follow me and I can help you relax? <laughs> Damn it! You're too ugly to be talking like that. What a turn off. <laughs> oh. Huh? The fuck? I'm going to do my set. <sighs> do you know what? When the ding dong ditcher ripper gets here, I ain't even gonna tell you to go and hide. How can I get more sexiness? Fuck off. For some reason, you have a hunch it can... Oh! Wait a minute! Oh, that's what I do with the newspaper! Oh, <laughs> makes sense now. I put the newspaper under the door! <laughs> the hell was that? Newspaper on the door. There it is. So, this is what I missed yoga for? Okay, I can still, uh... Let's ask about her. Moxie check failed. What do you mean? Ah! Okay, I'm, go I'm gonna go and talk to Hip G. You suck. How about you turn some tunes on? It's quiet as a tomb in this mug. Alright, let me do just that. Get the music on. This one's for you, G. Hey, we've got Moxie points for that. Nice. Now maybe I have enough Moxie points to go and talk to Hillary again. Moxie check succeeded. Let's go. What's your story? We've known each other a few weeks now. I'd like to know more about you. Like the real you. I don't. I'm just trying to smash. Can we go slow with all of this? Please? I... Fucking hell. There's a lot about me that you don't know and I... Yes, that's why I'm asking. Really, just want to be sure you're going to be around. Like, oh. long term. I know I can be a prick. Oh. But some things are just... Uh, I don't know. Oh, she It's got hard a... for me to open up emotionally, I guess. Oh, she got I'm a working past. on it, though. Comfort. She got a past. She got a past and she don't really want to share. That's... That's a... That's a... It might be something really sincere, but that's, that sounds like kind of a red flag. Well, comfort Thanks. Though. That really does mean a lot. Do I get a sexiness point for Here, that? Here, take this. Just so you know that I'm serious and not trying to brush you. This has been in my family for a while now. It's supposed to give you protection when you're at your weakest. Right. A pendant with a strong aura. Oh, she's into all that shit? Oh, no, pass. Never mind, red flag. You straight up blacklisted. All right, here's the hairpin. Let's go open that door. Can the power not go out right now? There's things that I want to do. Here's the hairpin.
weapon. Let's see here. Key fell on the newspaper. Thank you. The key to the bathroom. Surprisingly, it unlocks the bathroom. No way! Get it in there. What do we got in the bathroom? That is... That... Oh. That is not blood. That is shit. That is shit smeared across the mirror. It's poop splattered all over the mirror. Looks like it's covering something, but I'm not touching it. I, we could use the newspaper. Laxative? Used to unclog holes. Yeah. Wait, am I supposed to be... I can take a shit. I can take a shit in this game! I got agility points for that. Half a pound lighter. Oh, I'm moving way quicker. Oh my god, I can actually look at the shit. Cabinet. Cloth. Yes. What is this? Oh, it's another floppy disk. Um, let me go save the game right now. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, hilarious. Thong? Oh. <laughs> okay. We find in all sorts. I wonder if we have enough sexiness points now to, uh, you know. We so, find out? this is what I missed yoga for? Let me smash. You seem tense. Why don't you follow me and I can help you relax? Nope. Oh my god, I. Bro, how have I still not got enough? Oh, I got a brain point for that. Huh? Ah, okay. Hang on. Hold up. Are we getting some brain points? Oh, let me lock this one as well. More brain points! All these things that I wasn't doing the first time round. See, this strikes me as the kind of game you kind of need to play it more than once. Mostly used for making things clean or drinking. Uh, let's use the bleach on the cloth. And then use it on the poop. There we go. Rub that shit off. 296. 296. I think I know what that's for. That wouldn't happen to be for the gun case, would it? Ah, that'd be insane. Two. Two. Nine. Six. Oh, we got a gun. Business is good. Good. Next thing I'm gonna do is go and ask uh, Hip G if I can have some bullets, since he forgot his gun. Got any bullets? Moxie, yeah. check for. Nice try, hombre. Come on, man. I'm gonna have to find another way to get some Moxie points. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants? Um, I'm not sure. Just in case he got a hole in one. <laughs> Oh. That's pretty clever. You're splitting my sides. Yeah, it sounds like it. Hey, we've got a moxie point for it, though. Thank you for pretending to like my joke. Now, can I have those bullets? I guess I could spare a few rounds. Yeah. Correct answer. There we go. Use it on the gun. Now that we've got all of this, I'm definitely going to go and save. Because we've actually made some pretty decent progress at this point. Okay, here he is. What's he doing? Is he just going to be walking around now? I think I might have frozen bro in place. Oh! Oh my god! Run! That didn't happen last time! Get the key! Fucking hell. Oh, that didn't happen last time! Pendant shines and disappears. Wait, I'm not dead. The bullshit pendant. Oh. Come on, Rex. Can I even use the gun? Oh! Who's the gun? Who's the gun? Okay, we're going. Run! Get 
out of here, go! It's game! Run. I'm sorry. Dude, the gun doesn't do fuck all! That's the shittest gun I've ever seen! Okay. So I broke the game the first time round. He is supposed to wander around and he is supposed to chase you. Okay, that was actually kind of terrifying. I don't know how I could have got more sexiness points. Give me a call after all this dies down. I have a feeling neither of us will want to be alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I presume it's going to end the same way. Uh... Okay, so I feel like in the end, we got to kind of... Let me get the lights on. So I think that's what we're going to call it a day for Ding Dong Dead. That was, um... An experience. Interesting little game. Um, see, like I said in the beginning, I think this is made by the same guy who made Bloodwash. Now, I never actually got to play Bloodwash myself, but just judging this kind of as a game, like that was cool. That, that kind of had a bit of everything. I really like the idea of having different stats and they kind of open up different pathways and I wasn't able to get my sexiness high enough to actually get laid, but that is probably the most realistic thing that could ever happen on this channel. No, I actually, I really enjoyed that game. That was cool. Definitely go check it out for yourself if you want to play it. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for the next one. And one last thing, very quick. Uh, some of you may remember, some of you may not. Uh, I had a TikTok from like three years ago. Literally haven't touched it since like 2020. Uh, I've started posting on it again a little bit. Basically just doing the same stuff that I was doing in the YouTube shorts, but I don't really want to clutter up this channel with shorts, but I do want to keep making them. So they're going to be going on TikTok. So I'll leave a link down below. You can go and follow me on that if you want. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. So this is what I missed yoga for? No way. Mm, hey, that wasn't half bad. Careful now, or he just might have this girl head over heels. <sighs>